You know, this music really makes you think about your life choices and why... Why of all places you've come here? Hey there, it's Beta Squad. Welcome back to more Earthbound. I've looked the, across the map of this dungeon and it's not particularly hard to navigate. There is quite a few enemies on their way to our choices. I believe that is pizza. That is not anything useful. I think this is a cup. I think we're coming back here again anyways. So we're, we're pretty much generally okay. But now we're in a, like a museum part of the like the dungeon. So we we get to see all these things that I didn't fight. Like this the the crazy psychic ducks that I don't remember their names. But there's Dungeon Man who turned himself into a complete dungeon. Long time no see, Mr. Jeff. We met a long time ago in the winters. I'm Brick Road. I, Mr. Anne Lights finally made me into a dungeon man. The first chimera. Return hole is over there. Jump in that hole and walk out. And that's pretty much it. We can't go into that sign yet, or into that hole yet, but this pretty much leads us out, which means we're going to have him... What is this? An, this an IQ capsule. Oh, I need that for Jeff. I don't know... You know what? I'm just gonna eat this rock, rock candy. And... Okay, good enough. That's all I need. I need one space in my inventory. Uh, there you go. Use on Jeff. Jeff took the IQ to capsule. Great! That means we have enough, you know, I'm not, I'm never gonna use a Sun Guts pill. Like, I don't think it's, I've ever come across using one in my previous playthroughs of the thing, nor have I ever really used one. But now we have Dungeon Man, by far our biggest party member who can pretty much bash these guys with literally no effort. Like, with almost no effort. But I guess getting lucky with the smash attacks makes for a very easy battle. Oh, I got a green? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You gotta really focus on these enemies, or, or at least pay attention to them. Oh, he gave it a hug, that's awesome! Don't you love Dungeon Man hugs? Neato, alright, that's pretty cool, I like this so much already. Alright, we keep going down, and... Wow, that took a little bit of, like, why did I have set that so delayed? Here's Mer- uh-oh. Uh-oh. Am I gonna- uh-oh. Alright. Time to PK, fire everything, and just bash everything to almighty death. Because I don't feel like dealing with much. Like I said, I'm a little overpowered, just to be on the safe side. Which means I can scrap all these enemies. Like, with little to no effort, if I really felt like it. But the problem is, is that I don't want to battle every enemy I come across, which makes it much more difficult to do a thing. Guarg, no, I am getting caught in the palm trees. Cannot move. Well, if I cannot move, it is okay. It makes me sad. But I'm gonna say goodbye here. Am I eternal? Really? Wait. Okay. Why? What the fuck? Dude. Ugh. God, this makes me so sad, but it, it, it honestly kind of does make me sad. I'm just gonna bash this thing to death. Hopefully, hopefully, it can just go away very soon, which it did. I don't know, like, sometimes I just don't know what the hell I'm talking about in some of these episodes, and sometimes I just ramble on. Alright, what do you have to say? A scary place called Deep Darkness is on the other side of this river. Monsters are very strong, and you can lose your health by just wandering in the swamp. Do you want to cross the river? Yes, the swamp is bottomless, even if you are swimming, you'll get dragged in. It's a different story if you have a submarine, which we do! Uh oh. A submarine, I believe that I have one in my old vehicle collection. Please enter. Oh, shoot. Really? Really? 
Well, it doesn't really matter, I guess. But we're gonna have to be going all the way... We're gonna go all the way through Dungeon Man one more time, which means I can get some of those items back that I have previously missed. Is it a good idea? I don't know, maybe. When, when has I ever had a good idea? But that is, I don't know. Working through the night, he fixed the broken bazooka and the heavy bazooka. Oh, that is amazing. That, I think that is Jeff's second best item? Wait, am I, ins am I insane? Am I insane? Heavy bazooka, item for Jeff. Early dishes out during a battle. Because of its exposed flowers. Oh. Oh. Okay, I thought you could equip it, but I was wrong. Why do I keep getting red? What the fuck? Oh. Well, there goes my plush bear. And there goes Ness. And Paula and Jeff, I guess. So, whatever. Whatever, man. And there goes that cup of scalded and coffee. I'm probably gonna, like, gloss over this whole section again because you've seen it. So I will be back at the top of Dungeon Man and... Are you fucking kidding me? Alright, we are back here at the bottom. I mean, the top of the Dungeon Man. There is a goodbye exit, which means... I think we will never come back in here ever again, unless I am sorely mistaken. Unfortunately, I do not remember very, very much detail of if we can come back here at a later point in the game. But yeah, we are heading into deep darkness, another dungeon that is not a particular favorite of mine. Oh, a talisman ribbon. What does that even do? That is my question. What does that do? A talisman ribbon. Can only be used by Paula. When equipped, luck is increased. Oh. Okay, well that kind of makes sense that it can only be used by Paula. There's a lot of enemies spawning and lagging my game. I don't even remember the time I sh started this episode. Dang it! Ugh. Okay, uh, there's a... Wait. What? Oh, there's worthless protoplasm? Oh, that is awesome. Um, okay. I'm, I'm seriously trying to think. I'm actually legitimately trying to think. Because it was around 6.30 that I kind of started. Ugh. This is what happens when you, when you don't pay attention to your time and then you have to cut stuff out of the video. Which makes it rather unfortunate. So I'm gonna like just let it linger on a little bit more. Just picked up the receiver. What's wrong? You sound so sad. Are you- Oh wow, I got homesick? Okay. I guess I didn't realize that I was homesick. Okay, well, that's pretty neat. Alright. Instant revitalize machine. In only a few seconds, revitalize you. And, and unfortunately, I can't do math. Check, check, the broken machine. Yes, I can still work. That means we can go to deep darkness and hate ourselves. Wait, do we seriously How do we carry a submarine out of um I don't I don't understand the logistics anymore of this video game. Any would anyone care to explain it to me? A anyone? No? No, nothing. Not even like for a surprise face cam potentially. Fuck, I don't know. But we are heading into deep darkness. A long and rigorous dungeon. It's not really a dungeon, it's more of like a landscape. Either way, it's not that fun to play on. That is all I'm going to say. What do you have to say, Mr. Birdman? Let's just call our dad and take away what we spent. We have 57,000. That's way more than I'll ever have, probably. I, I gotta start saving my money, honestly. That was r really pathetic to say. Okay. What? Did we just take damage? How do we- 
how did we take damage? Okay, um... No, wait, what am I doing? We gotta fi I gotta figure out what I can get rid of. Okay, you know what I can do? I can call the Escargot Express. Next time on Earthbound, we are going... We are... Oh, shoot. Where's our... Okay, well, whatever. Next time on Earthbound, we are going to go through deep darkness and hopefully not get ourselves killed. That'll be a first, won't it?